When you plan a European snow sports holiday, you think of France, you think of Italy, Austria, or maybe even Switzerland. I bet the first place that comes to your mind isn't here in Spain. However, in this video, I'm hopefully going to change that. First up, we need to drive three and a half hours from here at the beach to the mountains of the Sierra Nevada. We have made it over 2,000 meters up into the mountains and here in Sierra Nevada. Now we're going to head to see if we can find our hotel, get a night's sleep, and then tomorrow we're going to hit the mountain. Now that I've made the short walk from the hotel down to the main area of the resort, it's time that I find the ticket office to print out my ski pass for the day. I did read online before that the ski passes can be printed from automated machines, it's just about trying to find them now. Found automated machine and as easy as you like, I was able to print off my ski pass. Not quite as easy as printing off a ski pass was trying to find the location of the shop where I rented my snowboard and boots from. Hola. Do you wear it? Do you know where, where to go for, for this? Go straight ahead. Yeah. Up. Uh, down. Downstairs. Down. Yeah. Down. Uh, this is telecabin. This is alquiler. Gracias. Thanks to the really nice lady in the ticket office and her very broken English, I was able to find my way to the rental shop to pick up my equipment and start my day on the slopes. Where are you? So, this should be a size. Right, guys. Okay, can I leave these ones here? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, perfect. Uh, and now we keep your boots, okay? Yeah, perfect. Gracias.
This was my first time on a snowboard since 2015, so it's fair to say I was a bit nervous coming up on the chair. I got myself into the bindings on the board and started feathering down the mountain, but just like riding a bike, it wasn't long until I knew exactly what I was doing and it all came flooding back to me. After one time going down the more beginner slope, I was able to move over to the more advanced slopes and have a great day snowboarding. This great day on the mountain had so many interruptions due to the size of the queues for the chairlifts. The mountain was only 40% open, which meant everyone was on a small area of the mountain. This was my first time ever snowboarding in Spain. If I'm honest with you, I didn't even know you could ski or snowboard in Spain until recently. And as it was my first time on a mountain since 2015, I wasn't sure how it would be. However, this resort blew me away and I was absolutely delighted and had an amazing day on the slopes. As you can see, there wasn't that much snow around. However, the runs that did have snow on them were really good and they were blowing snow all day. Therefore, it created a good extra layer on top of what was already there. The resort at the bottom of the mountain is great. It has loads of bars and restaurants and music playing all over the place. I really think if you're in this part of Spain or if you're in Europe thinking about a ski holiday, really check this place out and I think you will not regret it. <laughs>